Hey, how's it going? This is OXDF, and today I'm looking at a server-side request forgery on the perspective box from Hack the Box. And specifically here, I need to execute, I need to use it to access a page that only accepts uh, post requests. And so I'm going to uh, try a couple different ways to abuse that and get post requests through. Um, the first one will be using JavaScript, and this will actually end up being a big fail, um, I believe due to cores. Uh, but then I'm going to use an iframe and some JavaScript and a form to post to get the result in the iframe, and uh, it's going to work. So um, hopefully it's interesting. It's definitely a technique I had not played with before, but I think it's pretty interesting, and I thought it would be worth a share. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the setup here. Um, I'm logged into two different sessions here, so I'm going to just try to quickly breeze through um, a lot of enumeration and some exploitation that's already happened. Um, to get us to this point, for full details, check out my blog post. There'll be a link in the description. Um, so here I'm logged in as a user I created, and I have the ability to create products. So I can come in here and you know select this nice laptop-looking picture, and we can call this a test. This is a test, and we'll make it $100, and we'll give it a category of cranks, and we'll submit. And we can create products. Um, I also have this admin panel over here where I can put in my username and search, and I can get back this back, and I can also generate a PDF, and that'll take a second, but then it'll return a PDF version of the data for this user, right? So here's this, here's this nice table, looks good. Um, we've also learned through a little bit of exploitation already, let's delete this one, um, that we can use a meta tag to get an SSRF. So we'll still give it an image here, uh, we'll call this meta, and then we'll say something like uh, meta HTTP EQUIV uh, equals refresh. And then we can say content equals uh, zero colon HTTP. Oops. And we can do something like uh, 127.0.0.1 plus 8,000 because See, for, see the full post for enumeration, but we've already discovered there's a service on 8,000 that we were, were curious about. And we can close this tag, and that looks good. Let's give it a price, click category, submit. Now, when I submit this, it's all escaped out on the web page. But when I come here and I generate PDF again, let me hold on a second. Now, I've got a completely different page here. So basically what happens is, Whatever is trying to render the page as a PDF uh, views that meta tag redirects to the port 8000 service, that's what we have here, and we get back a page. And so it's an admin API, uh, encrypt, decrypt. Um, we can come in here and uh, see if we want to like copy this, we can save ourselves a bit of time. Um, we can come in here and do things like uh, use the encrypt function. So we can call this encrypt. I don't, think I, I don't even know if I spelled that right, but it'll work for now. Uh, meta, do some de-encoding here. Um, we could also, maybe we'll switch over to Burp, but we're not going to be doing this too much more. So uh, stay, hang with me for one second here. And this will be close quote like that. And now we can actually use the uh, encrypt function. So we can do uh, encrypt uh, plain text equals OXDF. We give it a price and we give it a thing. Um, now, when we do it this way, Come in here, we'll close this. Um, I skipped a few steps. I could actually, I use the docu Swagger documentation on that API to get exactly how the endpoints work. Um, but basically I can encrypt and I can get out an encrypted string here that it, it's an encrypted version of this text I gave in. Um, what I really want, because I actually have a string like this from another part of the box that I want to decrypt, is to decrypt. The problem is the decrypt takes a post and XSRF, or sorry, yeah, well, cross-site server-side request forgeries are difficult to do um, post request wise. So first thing I wanted to try, and I came over here and this will be hopefully the last time we have to type in a meta tag, um, is what if I have it redirect, instead of redirecting to like this thing, redirect to me and then I load script, right? So we'll call this like a redirect, um, or we'll call this like, we'll call this attack. Uh, and we'll say, I should have really should have made a copy before I paste before I with all the uh, encodes out of it. But Again, we'll go quickly. Um, and now, instead, the content here, instead of this, we will say um, put my IP in. So 10, 10, 14, 6. We'll just do port 80. And 
we will call this attack.html. Close that, close that. We'll give this a price and a, oops, and a thing, and we submit. Now let's come over here to a terminal. And we will say, um, make der, I made it already made one, let's see. Yeah, cdwdub, we have one here, we'll do python three minus m http server 80. Um, I've got mine set up that I can run that um, as root already. Let's see, so we can run that and we can come over here, close this, generate a new PDF, and we're getting attack.html. So it doesn't exist, so let's make it. Um, and we can start off really simple, right? Let's just like, just to prove we can do it, we can do like script uh, document.write, which will just overwrite the current document. Oh, XDF was here. And we close that and we do a script close. And now we close this, we regenerate a PDF. What we expect to see is, oh, uh, attack.html is not found. Let's see. Oh, because I didn't put it in the www data directory. Let's see, move attack. Dub, 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 okay. And we'll try that one more time, generate PDF. And here we go, OXDF is here. So we can run scripts. And at this point I'm feeling very confident, I think I got it. So we'll say like, um, we'll, we'll go back to our vim attack.html and we will get rid of this. And so we'll start making a um, HTTP request. So we'll do request equals new HTTP, oops, nope. Uh, XML HTTP request, and I have always have to pull up my notes from uh, like the CrossFit boxes where I did like a ton of this kind of um, CrossFit scripting stuff. But we'll do a post request. We'll do it to HTTP. Look, uh, we'll do. I don't know if localhost might be weird on Windows, so we'll do dot one port eight thousand to decrypt YPT, and we'll do cipher text raw. And that will be equals to, and I already closed my, close my uh, PDF. Let's see, can we actually open here? Downloads, uh, where do we encrypt? Three maybe? Nope. Try four. Nope. Try two. There's, so we'll grab this whole thing. Copy that, paste it in. I'm gonna guess that I need the URL encode these. So percent three D. Percent three D. That looks pretty good. Um, and then we need a false. And that looks good. Now we can do request.send. And we can do document.write uh, request.response. So if everything works, this should send the post request to the descript. It, uh, why does it take a get parameter for post request? I don't know, but it, that's what the Swagger doc said. Uh, and we should get the response and we can write it to our page. So if we do that, we come over here, close this, regenerate our PDF. Um, unfortunately, so we do get, you see we got attack the HTML here, so that was good, uh, but we get back an empty page. And this is where you kind of have to start troubleshooting, like what, <laughs> these are the most frustrating part of troubleshooting anytime you have a cross-site scripting attack or attack like this where you're using JavaScript, like where did it go wrong, right? Um, so the first thing I wanted to do was say like, let's let's come in here and say like response plus that. Cause then we can see, is it, am I, is requ request.response empty or is something failing up here and I'm not getting to it, right? So um, over here, we'll generate that and going to come back blank again. So that's not working. Um, to make sure that this whole process is working, we can come up here and we can do like, what if we get rid of, let's, let's comment out some stuff. So now it's it's going to create a new new HTTP XML request, but then it's just going to write the page. So I would expect this to work, and I would get back response, and I do, because JavaScript is very forgiving here when you're trying to append strings with even if the variable doesn't exist, um, or this is just going to be null anyway. So um, so we can tell that's kind of working. Um, we can start to say, what if we um, make let's see, let's leave that commented out, and we'll come in here. And what if we do something like um, Something we know kind of works. So we could do change this to encr encrypt. And who cares if our ciphertext is, if our, oh, it's not ciphertext raw though, it's gonna be plain text. So we'll come in here and do plain text. And let's try that one. And what I'm looking for here is like, am I just, I know is the post request failing somehow? Um, 
Now that worked, but I noticed I didn't actually send the request. I just opened it. So let's come down here and send it. Oops. And see, because that, so that's a good sign. I probably could have tested that independently without changing the request just to see if that was where it was failing. Um, but that didn't seem to work. So, or that didn't seem to fail. So that was okay. Um, let's see, we got attack and we get, now we get back to a blank page again. So at this point I'm reading as this request is coming back as a failed request. Um, and because it, and when it fails on the request.send, if it gets back a 400 error or a 404 or something like that, a uh, 500, any kind of bad error, the JavaScript just can die. So one thing we could try is we could say, well, what happens if we, uh, instead of, let's go to a server we know works. Let's say 14, six, like that. And let's just get rid of all of this. Like, can I load my own page? And so we'll try that. And, Lo and behold, it works. So we get back this directory listing, we get response works, like the page works. At this point, it seems pretty clear that the problem is cores. So I am loading a page off of 10, 10, 14, 6. So if I then want to make a JavaScript request back to um, perspective.hackthebox, uh, cores might be objecting to that. And I think that's what's happening. Um, and that's why when I go to my own page, it works fine. Um, to prove this further, I can try, like, what if I do um, perspective hack the box and try to go ahead and just get the page itself. Because um, that's a page that's open to everybody. It's just open. And we still get back nothing. So I, this seems to me like a course problem. Like, scripting is not going to allow me to do this. And so um, I was troubleshooting this, actually troubleshooting this with IPSEC. And I had this idea came to my mind of, like, okay, what if instead of using script like this, what if we tried to use an iframe? And I said, oh, wait, but we need a post request to put its data in the iframe. Um, and so, you know, what did I, 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 first thing I threw into Google is post request into iframe. Let's see if this, let's see if this works. Um, and the first thing is how to send an I, send parameter to iframe with post request. And this has a couple different responses with people showing how you do it. And the real, the real answer is you need three things. So we're going to try this. Um, the first thing we want to create is a form. And so, with our web form here, we're going to say, why am I not in print? Uh, here we go. Okay. So we'll say form ID equals OXDF hacks uh, target. And this is the key part. The target is going to be frame. Um, and I'll, we'll talk about what that does in a minute. Method equals post action equals, and we'll do HTTP 127.001 port 8000 slash decrypt question mark cipher text raw equals and now we need to find that um let's really keep this open and not close it was it two? two perfect that equals that so we need to encode that like that so we have an action and we can close our form so that is a form that when you someone submits the form it's going to post the request i'm looking for Okay, so what do we do now? Am I missing something? I don't know why. Oh, let's see if we can close that form. Like that. So now, part two, we need an iframe. So we'll make an iframe here, and we'll call this name equals, and this name has to match what I have here. So what this says is, when this post happens, the target is like, what do I do with it? And by default, that means it just reloads the page, and the response is what goes there. But if I put a target as frame, now it's going to reload the page into that frame. So we can do that. And we just need to close iframe. So now we have our iframe. Now, the last thing we need is right now we're just presenting a form, but we're not, we need somebody to submit it. And so we can go back to using script here to submit the form. Oh, stupid. I don't need this uh, auto spacing here, but okay. Um, so we'll say var form equals document dot get element by ID. And we'll call this what we call it OFDF hacks. And then we can say form dot submit. Now, script is not allowed to mess with iframes, but it is allowed to mess with forms. And so that's why this form thing is kind of a bypass. Um, so we write that. And now, let's see, if we generate a PDF again. There's the attack going and boom, we have an iframe here and the decrypted text OXDF shows up. So um, I thought this was super cool. All right, sorry for the rough cut there, but as I was starting to write this down um, and figure out how to incorporate this video into my blog post for the write-up, it occurred to me that I'm not even sure we need 
the iframe after all of that. Um, and so let's do this. We've got um, tac.html. And right now we've got a form that is posting data into an iframe. But what if we just get rid of this and get rid of this? And now what's going to happen is the page is going to load the form. The JavaScript is going to submit the form and the results of the form. I even said in the video, the default action is to load the response as the page. Um, and that's really what I want is a response, right? So let's try this and we'll come over here and we'll generate PDF. And we got our kit on attack.html and we've got our decrypted data here. So even simpler. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed going along the journey here, going from JavaScript to iframe to just a form. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and call it there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and thanks. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.